Toilet Ray is my ribs. Okay. <laughs> I'm here to learn, man. Fuck it. Um, so Benzino was on Drink Champs, which actually the full episode is great. But of course, him having a fucking <clears throat> meltdown is what went viral. Um, naturally, they asked him about Eminem like they do with every Benzino interview, which he should probably know by now. Mm -hmm. And I think he had had a little, little too much of the juice and was a little emotional and had a full-fledged breakdown and started crying. I don't know if this is the first crier on Drink Champs, but it was bound to happen with the amount of alcohol that's there. Yeah. Somebody had to cry. Well, Benzino's a crier. He's, we've seen He's him an emotional cry guy. on TV a couple of times. Uh, the, the last thing I can remember is I think his, his, his uh, ex-wife or uh, one of his baby mothers, he was crying mm. outside of her house because she's with a new guy and she had him arrested. She called the cops and he was crying in that clip. Um, and I think we've seen him cry on Love and Hip Hop a couple of times. For sure. So he's a crier. He, he doesn't mind letting... Uh, he's, he's an emotional guy that I promise you still will knock you the fuck out. Yeah, one of those guys. Um, he's probably crying because he doesn't want to knock you out. Because <laughs> I know a guy that used to do that. He used to get emotional. Like, yo, don't make me do this to you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> like, yo, don't, let me, don't make me do this to you, man. Because like, I'm going to really get up from here and put these hands on you. You don't want that. It's, it's going to affect me more to kill you. It's going to hurt me. <laughs> More than it's gonna hurt you, <laughs> even which I dead. always like. I always even understood. Though I understood even though you're that. gonna be dead, yeah. Yeah. but nah, <laughs> it's gonna hurt me to have to hurt you. When your no. mother used to whoop your ass and say that, that used to piss me off. Yeah, I used to like, my that there's no way that hurts you more than it just hurt me. I'm, I'm yeah. hurt right now. Yeah, my back is fucking. I have welts all over my yeah. fucking. You had time to think about it. Until yeah. yeah, you're fine. I was wet. I just got the shower. This yeah. was premeditated. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, can we play some of this clip of, of Benzino's meltdown? <clears throat> yeah, let's do. It. And then it gets some of them. And then it gets some of them and they can rap. I think it's going to be joining But I can't hear about us more. Years. I don't want to go through, I don't want to talk about it no more. I don't want to, for 22 years, every time I do an interview, they ask me about Eminem. <laughs> the fuck you want me to do? <laughs> Stop Come doing on, interviews. Man. My daughter came into the industry figuring that, hey, I got to be cool with Eminem because everybody's against my dad. <laughs> So what, what's weird about this, though, is at the beginning of this uh, interview, he was very much like popping shit, like, fuck On, Eminem. Yeah, I'm straight like, up saying, fuck Eminem. Fuck Eminem. I don't give yeah. a fuck about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like an hour and a half later. Well, that's that's well, how alcohol works. Yeah, that's how, that's how you know, the liqueur, uh, once it's in your blood, it starts to, you know. The spirits. Yeah, the spirits. It, it brings out the spirits and the tears. Hennessy should use this for an ad. I don't, should they? The truth teller. I don't know if the French are going to co-sign. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they, they want to tell get the truth. truth Actually, I'm, I'm hoping that they they probably hope they don't pan to any alcohol on the table that was theirs. Uh, after this <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't pan to Nori's face because I'm sure he was dying laughing. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. I mean, I get it though. Like, I, I if I'm Benzino, I am tired of people asking me about Eminem. I I understand that part. Like, yo, why y'all? Uh, I don't care. Like, Benzino is what 60 years old. Probably somewhere close to it. Like at at this age, why are we we supposed to be chilling? Yeah, 58. 58. We supposed to be chilling. My daughter's in the industry. She's successful. She's been on stage performing at a Beyonce show. Like, why am I still talking about a beef okay. that we had when we were like in our thirties? But if you want to continue to do interviews, which Benzino has the right to do, and quiet is kept. One of the best interviewees, like if you go through his catalog of interviews, his story is incredible. I know we like to clown Benzino, but his story is great. He tells incredible stories, vivid stories. He's a part of hip hop. He should continue to do them. Mm -hmm. But you don't think people are going to ask after this many years, kind of the only real asterisk next to Eminem's name as far as his legacy goes. You don't think people are going to bring that up when Benzino was the one on the other side of that? I'm not saying don't bring it up, but how... For how many more years do you have to bring that up? Well, I mean, it just resurfaced again because they were just they just wrote diss tracks to yeah. each other the other day. But that's yeah. what <laughs> again, that's part of that's part of what I'm saying. Y'all are still at this shit after all of these years. Like, so I understand that part of when busy. Like, I'm tired of this shit. Like, it's been 20 something years of this shit. Like, like we get it. It happened. It was a moment. We understand what it was about. But Benzino has other other shit that he could be talking about. He's done what, a lot in the music business and entertainment. Like he's done a lot, but aside from the Eminem beef, so I understand him on that. It's just like, yo, like, come on, man. I don't want to keep talking. But about in this, at one point, he literally said, "Let's talk about M. That's why y'all are here, right?" 
Like that's he, why he, he went on a whole interview. rant about it before yeah, we got, well, he got no, to this. Did Benzino said that. Yeah, yeah. Well, because he understands that. Like, let me guess. Like, it's kind of like I, like Demar said, we just had a little spat again for the, however many of time. That's that's what y'all want to talk if about. You know, you're that sensitive about the topic and would prefer not to speak on it. Why would you? It's not about being sensitive to the topic. It's just that at 58 years old, right? And Benzino's lived a life. He's seen a lot of shit. Been through a lot of shit accomplished a lot. He's going through a lot. As you know, we know what his, his daughter, his relationship is kind of strained there. So it's a lot going on with him. I can understand how he's at a point in his life now where he's just like, like, bro, I'm tired of talking about this shit. Like, I don't want to talk about this Eminem beef no more. Like, I mean, but I, I can relate to some degree of feeling a way about certain questions or why we're talking about it. But when you've actively participated participated in it, even if you were the one just replying and not the one starting shit. Yeah, no matter what, when you go out, people are going to ask you about that. So if you're prepared to go do an interview or a press run or whatever it's going to be, you need to be prepared for those questions because they're going to happen no matter what. Even mm -hmm. if you think the shit is played out, even if you feel like you've been on the other side and haven't said shit, you're, you've still participated. 100%. And people are going to ask about it. 100%. And I, so your and feelings on it don't matter <laughs> when it comes to this type no, of No, your feelings can still matter. Like, just because... You participated and it doesn't mean that you're not tired of people asking about it or talking about it or bringing it up. Like Eminem came at him. Yeah, so he, but he also, has a, a right to defend himself and get in the booth and this is still hip hop. So, but I, I can still understand even through all of that, Rory, your point is valid, but I can still understand on the other side of that too. Benzino like, Yo, I'm tired of this shit though. But you don't get to decide, and I learned this the hard way, you don't get to decide when the rest of the world <laughs> is over it. <laughs> or when people decide to reply. Because for years, Benzino, even after the whole source shit, even after the, the dust settled with the Eminem N-word tapes and everything, mm -hmm. Benzino was still doing interviews and discussing that entire thing. Yeah, We know M kind of disappears for a while and comes back. When you're on M time, he may reply to that shit three years later. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Benzino can't do years and years of interviews about M. And just because M doesn't respond in a timely manner, he can't get upset now because M decided to come out of his cave and say, yo, I can't go at Benzino's neck because he doesn't have one. Right. Which was funny. Yeah, no, I get it. I mean, listen, it's, just, it's, part, of, it's part of the sport. But I'm just saying, like, I can understand at the same time a guy just being like, especially, like I said, at 58. Uh, yeah. It's like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, this shit is, like, let's, let's move on from this shit. Like, you know, including Benzino. Like, you know, so whatever M says, like, stop responding. Um, you don't have to respond to everything. It doesn't warrant a response. We know that. Mm -hmm. And 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 if you if you're tired of it, then be tired of responding to it as well. You know what I mean? Like be tired of responding to it. Um, we had to learn that as well. Mm -hmm. It's like just move on, man. Just let people say what they're gonna say. No matter what you say, people are gonna have an opinion. People are gonna have a response. And if you keep responding to a response, you'll be responding for the rest of your life. But it's different. I, you you brought in you guys as an example, but like in your case, your tonality and what you said never changed. You know what I mean? Like you guys. Yeah. And then so like the point being, Benzino sounded like this at the beginning of the interview. We here tonight. Oh, uh, fuck Eminem. <laughs> and fuck everybody down with Eminem. And my thing is this, bro. Oh, no, no. My thing is uh, this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this, is just, this is just uh, we don't that know, an example of how won't face me. Right. <laughs> yeah, but the point is, like, you guys never. Mm. It wasn't. Um, I, it wasn't I don't know because that energy, like in the, in one your response video, you were like, "Hey, here's." Sorry. It wasn't like at the at one point you guys were like boisterous and like cut and doing all that shit. You, we you drink. Could, well, you could uh, compare. What are you talking about? You could compare some of this to. Even though I think it's much different when you add context to it, you can compare this to me and leave me alone. I don't think there, there's a big difference, but I could see someone on the internet that's viewing this from the outside looking in and only sees like the clips. Yeah. If you put the right video together and put those side by side without any context, I would look like a hypocrite. Yeah. For and sure. we're, we're on the internet, so context is not. But that's what editing matter. does. Editing, <laughs> editing has the ability to make you look like a hypocrite. For sure. So. And we all are to some degree. Yeah. But I don't, I mean, I guess Zeno just needs to. Pick a side of putting all his business out there and living on that hill or just don't do it at all. Because you've done a lot of stuff with your daughter. 
-hmm. which we've disagreed with on this podcast about just airing out family business. Mm -hmm. But that's what you've decided to do. And that's your family and your child. So you have every right to do what the fuck you want to do. Mm -hmm. Pick a side. Just I pick, agree. pick a side. I agree. I, I just think that Benzino, honestly, bro, just, you know, enjoy life, man. You, you at that age where this type of shit is something that shouldn't even be on your radar. You should be, you know, playing golf, you know, on vacation, you know, just that type of like hip hop has to has to age gracefully, man. Like we got to we shouldn't be in our 50s beefing like what fucking what other job are people beefing in their 50s? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a job you want to be in when you have to beef uh, in, in your most 50s? jobs. Beefing? I mean, what's most jobs do you beef at in 50 years old? I mean, they're sending shots at Flex when he was 50. <laughs> oh, I guess not it, send that text, man. I know, but he, I mean, he replied in his 50s, no? Yeah, but beefing? I mean, beef. I'm talking about beefing. Beef. They're not, not really. Not beefing. disagreements. Everybody, you're going to have disagreements the day you die. I'm talking about. Beefing, but are they genuinely beefing? Are Benzino and Eminem gonna run into each other and fight? If I if I think if Benzino and Eminem walked off the elevator and saw each other, it would be some static. Yes, I, think, I do I think, think so. Benzino would swing and would hit him in the head with a coffee pot. Absolutely, it, that's what I'm saying. Beef and uh, disagreements are two different things. You can have disagreements at work, and I'm talking about beefing, where it's like, yo, when I see this, yo, we might tear this whole shit up if we bumped into each other. At fi only in hip hop does that happen. Only in this culture does that happen. Nah. So which, what's your age limit on beef? Me? You. Mm -hmm. I don't have beef with nobody at my age. What beef? I'm saying is what's your age limit? Because there's some people that if you saw you would swing on them. So if you were in the same room with them, you might swing on them. No, we are not.